Good morning, November 9th. Wanted to come on here before the weekend and give a quick update. The stock markets have rallied as we've, as we've expected off of oversold technometer readings. We've mentioned that in our free week in review at wycopsmi.com. But uh, we did take some profits on uh, stock holdings on Thursday and Wednesday and also covered some short bonds. So we think stocks are headed lower, bonds higher. And just wanted to go through a few charts here. So we've got the Wyckoff wave in front of us. You can see here we had the oversold technometer down here at uh, springing the previous support. Why we was expecting a rally. We did get a technometer up here on Wednesday to uh, overbought and telling us to take profits and look for some type of pullback. And uh, still today we're trading at a 50.30. So we are still bearish short term here on the stocks. We we'll bring up the Wyckoff wave growth, WWG. Technometer is uh, at 45.77, so didn't get overbought. Rally here was a little bit labored, lower volume as well. So we'd expect this market to come back and test the previous low. Let's also show the DIA, the uh, Spider Dow 30. We have came in here today and we've got a, a 52 on the technometer. So the sell was yesterday, but uh, we've got the Dow currently now down. Well, we've got it down to 211. So we think this market also has rolled over. 50% pullback may be in the cards, something like that. We'll come back down. If people trade head and shoulders, maybe we get a right shoulder over here. But uh, for next week, we'd expect lower prices. TLT, we've been trading very well. Software give us a sell up here at the top. That we've mentioned on these recordings gave us a buy cover shorts down here we had a new sell monday morning at the opening and uh, we covered our shorts wednesday after we had this higher opening a sell-off during the day op came down and gave us an oversold technometer so we took that as a chance to cover our shorts for a quick short-term profit now let's go through some of the uh Stocks that make up the uh, Wyckoff Wave Index, we got Boeing, one year. We've uh, shown this trading range here. Possibly you might want to bring this up here. And this would have been an upthrust and uh, not a jump. And then we've had a sign of weakness and we're back now to resistance. So, uh, a good place here to stop and look for a pullback. 49.82 on the technometer. So we would expect this to back up somewhat here and anxious to see the next correction. Bank of America, BAC. Same type of thing. Got uh, what we thought was trading range action here. We fell through for a uh, fall through the creek and now we've rallied back to it. We've got a 49.65 on the technometer. 50 is normally considered overbought. So another place to stop here and look for a pullback. Bristol Myers, one that we have uh, had a double divergence on our indicators for the last few months. And uh, show that real quick. We had the OP go to new highs here. And price didn't, which was a divergence. And then we had the OP come down while I price made a new high. So that is a double divergence. And then we came down and respected the uh, lower boundary of the downtrend line in uh, the uh, pink. So not a very good rally off the bottom. So we'd expect a little more downside here in Bristol Myers in the weeks ahead. Caterpillar is one that uh, we've also not liked. This is a one year. So once again, fell through the ice, rallied back to it in the last two days, quickly under pressure again, over $7. So Caterpillar not looking well. Ford has not been a very good performer, everyone knows. Uh, continued weakness, but we have had a little bit of change of character here. We've got a 39.86 on the technometer. So this is one that... Uh, if you want to pick up a cheap one, then uh, maybe a pullback here to $9 over the next week or so. 
give us a deeply oversold technometer, and maybe you'd want to look into this. But uh, this has been an underperformer, except just here recently. So uh, be careful with Ford. General Electric, another long-term, very poor performer. We thought maybe we was looking, working on accumulation, but then uh, the blue arrow here showed a continued change in character, volume coming in and giving up what could have been a previous spring or a shakeout. So this one, uh, horrible performance. IBM, another one that we've talked about, not looking well. This chart is not good. Had to fall through the ice to rally back and then uh, downside uh, markdown and a very poor rally off of a deeply oversold. So we had big volume come in here to stop the decline, but uh, IBM looks still lower. AT&T, one that we've talked about maybe being interested in being long. And uh, still think that's the case. We've got a one year chart here. I think possibly we just came off a, a shakeout and uh, could pull a test in here. So again, watch this for the next week, but that could be interesting down here at the 30 level, no volume, etc. Union Pacific is one that we have liked longer term. Still like that one. We've got an uptrend marked here and uh, still looking good inside that uptrend. So this is one I think could be purchased on uh, a sell-off as well. Walmart is one we've liked longer term. This one continues higher. We talked about this down here at the support level that uh, the jump and a back up here and now it just continues higher and a nice uptrend. So that one still looks higher. Exxon Mobil, we talked about a trading range and uh, maybe try to purchase it. It did spring that trading range right back to the top resistance, but that's one you might want to look at. Technometer 40.66. So it could be interesting back down here at the uh, 78 level or so. Then DWDP, which has been uh, a poor performer that we've called out. Still in a, uh, a large downtrend. And... Uh, would still expect lower sideways, etc. Now let's go through a few other ones we've talked about on our YouTube show, Learn Crypto, Wyckoff SMI, or on here, Advanced Micro Devices. One that we thought on uh, earnings news here probably was uh, sold out and back to previous support. So this is one we recommended buying. Have not had a, a sell in them, and we came up to really a sell here. But uh, that's one we think may be oversold. So that one could still be good on a pullback here or a better reading on the technometer. Twilio is one that we've mentioned we've liked for quite a while. This one has came alive again. Great performing. Here's the one year. 63, clear up to uh, 99. So they've really turned their business around since this $25 support. And uh, we have re reached the upside objectives. So, uh, but this one still acts unbelievably well. Wingstop, one that we've liked, also acting well. Maybe another reaccumulation area came down and sprung it back in the middle of the trading range. Technometer is 52. And uh, watch this one. This could have been a little sign of weakness off an up thrust, but uh, one to keep your eye on. Has been a good performer. Tractor Supply, one that we've liked longer term. This one acting also unbelievably well. So uh, looks like we jumped here and backed up. We do have a 56 technometer, which would be expected here as we leave the upside trading range for a markup. But uh, that's one that we've been on and still acting very, very well. UUP, been trying to be short this a couple times, lost a slight slight money in it. We think when this uptrend line gives away, you'll want to be short or we're going to sell new highs, which we mentioned on our show a couple of days ago. So uh, probably going to get a sell of new highs or sell a breakdown of the uptrend. We think the dollar is 
is topping out here and going to experience multi-month sell-off. Here's GDXJ that we've been friendly. Uh, it's back here at the low end of its trading range. So uh, might find support here. Technometer back to 40.20. The GDX performing a little bit better. Let's go out and look at the one here. GDX is performing a little better here, shorter term. And then uh, we are long ABX, Barrett Gold. You can see the chart on it way better on the one year. So this one's been good to us. We're long it and still expecting higher prices. Then let's go to Square. Square, unbelievable. Just having the software to trade Square would be well worth the monthly cost. We've showed this. Let's go to the one year. This buy here was actually one that we called out on earnings and the CFO leaving, I believe it was. But uh, the actual signal from the software was this day here, down around 66. And we had a sell at 82 that we gave to our pro traders and also gave out on our Twitter at uh, Learn Crypto Show and Wyckoff on Crypto. So we're looking for a technometer to give us another buy signal. It's called all these moves perfectly. If you're trading square, you might want the software. And then let's go to Twitter. Twitter's another one that we picked up on the sell-off. We're along it from 2875, uh, I believe it is. Technometer 46. This is one we did not sell two days ago. We think this one, uh, longer term, could still be digging in here and could work higher. So we're going to give that one some room. Cake is one that uh, I'd mentioned about being short, Cheesecake Factory. I did cover that on the sell-off and uh, not sure here. Back to what was previous support, technometer 49. So <coughs> that one probably gonna works, works lower. Regeneron, one that we've uh, talked about liking that could maybe lead us higher. I'm showing a last point of support possibly here. And uh, again, that's what I'm gonna watch on the next pullback to see if this is uh, accumulation. So nothing there at the moment. Disney is one that we like the chart. It's up today. This one still looks good. A little longer term chart. Made a new high today for the move. So uh, this one could be good as well. And then another one, Cisco. Last but not least, Cisco Systems is one that... Uh, Maybe it doesn't look too bad here. So that's one that we're going to look at. We've got a 51 in the technometer. So once again, want to see how the pullback looks. But one maybe to have on your radar. So that's all for now. Check out our Week in Review. It's free. You can sign up at wyckoffsmi.com. LearnCrypto.io if you're interested in the, the crypto uh, currencies. We do have software there that uh, we've been using and also now close to getting prepared to launch as a subscription service bringing in volume from 96 exchanges. So if you're trading cryptocurrencies, doing technical analysis, you must have that software. So uh, have a great weekend, good trading, and uh, we'll see you Monday.